Hey all everybody, good evening. Um, uh, I, I, I just come out, you know, to understand what the definition of sociopath really is. I mean, as I'm just here on campus with a lot of people, a lot of uh, stuff going around in the classroom, my workplace, outside, on campus, dormitory, and etc. So, uh, what to me, sociopath uh, is, you know, is a group of people, you know, who are actually designed in this stupid disgusting organized stalking program that actually hang around in front of you in different formats and different uh, patterns, different figures, you know, and they carry out those kind of acts, you know, for example, uh, in the classroom, they disturb you. They try to antagonize you with different matters, you know, that they're using, for example, <laughs> as I said before, you know, chewing on plastics like cockroaches and picking on the table like chickens. <laughs> And they do so much, they make throat noises, they just bang themselves, you know. They, they almost take out their clothes and throw them away and do the naked figure in front of you. So you have to ignore it. And they, you can see they really, really, they're really, really mad at the time. You know, they're really mad at you know, the time that they can't really get your attention. So it's just like a freak show going on people it's a freak show going on in the classroom I believe none of you have ever uh, come across this kind of stuff or those of you who've already had I'm so sorry bless your heart those of you who are in the hospital or stuff that are going through it you know you might just come out and share your experience with these sociopaths okay so outside the classroom for example there was a sweet kid you know being carried around you know by it's daddy and I just was playing with the ball and the pattern is so strange I mean the kids are attracted to me I mean they just I sweet I love sweet the kids are innocent but they can be trained to be perps okay they can be trained on certain um, styles certain configurations and certain modes on certain levels you know for example that they have to do this or they might show the photo of a person and then kind of like make the child, you know, so much like favorable to that person or attracted. So the kids are stopping by and you have to almost hug them and you just, I can't really hold myself, you know, when I see little kids, I love kids. So I just go, you know, like closer and try to hug them or just pass my hand on their hair and just like circle their hairs because they're so cute and sweet. Love kids. I love kids. I've always loved them. And then the other thing, for example, I usually do exercising, guys, okay? Uh, so what I see there is just like couples hanging out, you know, the male, female, male, male, um, and they just, you know, like design those scenes in front of you because like there's a lot of romantic stuff going on. The scenes are so much full of romance. There's so much love in there. Well, in fact, there's not because they're all fucking fake, you know. It, that's just a sad part about them because I myself, for example, I enjoy the nature, the birds, the animals or stuff that I see. And there's usually something in between that happens that steals their shows. It gets my attention, you know, and I fell in love with that thing. For example, when they were doing the street theater today, you know, for example, basically people, they antagonize you, make your heart dance, give you a sense of envy, and afterwards give you a sense of threat. For example, when I was walking, there were just a couple of loafer looking boys you know hanging out in the bicycles and stuff just to give me you know like the sense of uh, fear like they're gonna rob you or do something and then you see strange people sh with shirts you know that they have uh, strange messages written on the shirt for example the master race and they had the Popeye picture on it you know and then you see the couples kissing you know in the corners they do it all a lot ugly disgusting but I, I don't really care I mean I don't really really care I don't care what I find it most blissful to me is that there's usually something happens in between for example you like a person and you look at them you know and they're like oh this person has a crush on me and then you see that person making out with the other person in front of you just to make you jealous okay 
you don't get jealous with those craps, you know. I don't get, I don't get jealous, honestly. I, I never, never, ever. And what stole the show today was the dog that I like here, the doggy doggy that you guys see in my video. He and the other dog, the silly dog, they were playing together and they were wanting that those perps who were busy making the love scene, a romantic scene, they were also looking at those dogs running after me and I was screaming, you know, like, come get them and playing, you know, it was just the sweetest moment. I really wish I had taken the pictures, but you guys have the video to have the idea of those dogs, you know, that are actually uh, so much sweet and playful with me. And as for the look, the I have seen people commenting in my videos, they're saying I'm reptilian and I have different look and this is just probably the reason why I'm being targeted. I think this is a really silly way of gaslighting someone. I don't really know myself because it's a question of genetics and then the attacks probably as well because your shape changes for example. They're different artists, you might have seen Michael Jackson, you know, he had a different figure. Although he had a plastic surgery but they were microwaving him too, his face, Britney Spears, you could see. She's totally burned, you know, her face, her lips to totally looks different. So we, we do go through um, different phases of changes of her facial expressions, her body. For example, when they attacked my stomach, it looks like uh, I have done a surgery while I haven't. So it was just all for today, you know, the sociopaths. My God, I've seen a lot of them here. They come in the form of families to make you miss your family. They come in the form of romantic to make you feel you're lonely. The friends that you to make you feel miss your friends or etc. But what I just do is just I switch my mode totally different. I'm like connected with the nature. So if any one of you out there you know is going through this, do not be upset. Meditate and connect with nature, because nature is the true, the original, and the most sweet thing that could happen in our life. Connect with the nature. Connect with the sun, with trees, sky, wind, insects, animals, birds. This way you're going to feel totally amazing. And I, and I feel really amazing about it. And you can see it now, how I'm smiling at this time and looking at the phone. I actually had this uh, doubt, you know, I had this confusion about sociopaths and I really come out to learn it today. <laughs> you guys have a great time and love you all and God bless you all. T.I.S.